Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best headphones in the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 8. Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3. The best earbuds we've tested are the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3. If you're looking for lighter and more portable headphones, these premium earbuds offer versatile performance, whether you're jogging in the park or parked at your desk. They have a decently comfortable fit and have stability fins to keep them in place when you're on the move. They also have an ANC system that outperforms competitors like the Apple AirPods Pro Truly Wireless or Bose QuietComfort Earbuds Truly Wireless. They can effectively block out sounds like engine rumbles and office chatter so that you can focus on your audio. These buds last over 8 hours continuously while their carrying case supplies an additional 3 charges if you need them. Their bass-heavy sound profile is also suitable for thumpy, boomy genres like EDM and hip-hop, but you can adjust them to your preferences using their 3-band graphic EQ and presets. They support Aptex Adaptive Codec 2, which helps lower latency and improves audio quality while streaming. Number 7. Philips SHP 9500. The Philips SHP 9500 are the best entry-level audiophile headphones that we've tested. If you're an audiophile on a tight budget, these headphones offer a fairly neutral sound suitable for various audio content. Although they lack more thump and rumble than the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS, they have a bump of extra high bass to help add warmth to mixes. Their mid-range is also very neutral, so vocals and lead instruments accurately reproduce, while the overemphasized treble helps brighten these sounds. Thanks to their open-back design, they can create a spacious and natural passive soundstage to help immerse you in your audio too, and if you like to listen to your mixes for long periods, they have a very comfortable fit. Unfortunately, one of the drawbacks of their affordable price point is their build quality. Overall, they feel a bit plasticky, and the padding seems prone to tearing. Luckily, they have a detachable audio cable, so you can purchase a replacement cable separately if you damage it. Number 6. Sennheiser HD 800S The Sennheiser HD 800S are the best audiophile headphones we've tested if you're looking for an immersive audio experience. If you have the budget for them, these premium over-ears offer some of the best sound money can buy. However, keep in mind that you'll need to purchase a high-grade amp if you want to properly drive them, which can be an additional investment if you don't already have one. They have an open-back design which allows audio to escape the ear cups and bounce off the walls around you, creating a spacious and open passive soundstage. On the flip side, they're designed for use in an enclosed room as they won't block out any background noise, and they leak audio across the range. While this isn't a problem if you're listening to tracks in a quiet space like a studio, audio bleed can ruin a recording, while ambient sound can make it harder to monitor a live session properly. They also have a well-balanced and neutral sound suitable for most audio content. Although they have some trouble reproducing a thumpy low bass, they have a touch of extra high bass to add warmth to audio. Their mid-range is flat, so vocals and lead instruments are clearly and accurately reproduced. They have excellent build quality, and their fit is comfortable enough for long listening sessions. Number 5. Anchor Soundcore Life Q35 Wireless. The Anchor Soundcore Life Q35 Wireless are the best mid-range headphones we've tested. At this price point, these over-ears offer quite a versatile performance. They have an adjustable ANC system, so you can set it to block out more commuter-related noise like bus engines, outdoor noise like wind, or indoor noise like ambient chatter. Although they don't cut down quite as much noise as the AKG N700 NCM2 Wireless, they still offer great overall performance across the ranges. They also have over 44 hours of continuous playback time and can be paired with up to two devices at a time. They even support LDAC, which is Sony's proprietary codec for streaming high-res audio. They have a bass-heavy sound profile that's well-suited for genres like EDM and hip-hop. Their companion app offers a graphic EQ and presets if you prefer a different sound. That said, there's a difference in sound between ANC on and off. 
With the ANC off, audio sounds hollow and thin. If audio quality matters to you, and if you're looking for headphones to use only at home, it's worth checking out the Bayer Dynamic DT770 instead. These are audiophile-grade headphones that have an analytical sound profile that reproduces natural vocals and lead instruments with extra brightness. Some people prefer this sound as it can help bring out imperfections in audio, but others may find it too piercing. Keep in mind that they also have an open-back design, this helps them produce a more immersive sound, but they leak audio and won't block out any background noise. Number 4. The Poly Backbeat Fit 500. While it's true that a good pair of earbuds lend themselves well to working out, and you can see a list of the best here, they are arguably less convenient than a pair of headphones that sit on top of your head, and which you can quickly pull down if necessary. That's quite important if you hit a busy intersection and need to listen for traffic, or that hot gym goer you've had your eye on says something to you. If that happens, you don't want to pull earbuds out, where you might drop them with sweaty fingers, or have to spend some time finding a tiny pause button. Ideally, I'd like to recommend a pair of fitness headphones that sound great and are simple to use without breaking your wallet in half. I think I found them, the Poly Backbeat Fit 500s. Poly are formerly known as Plantronics, they recently rebranded, and they've been making fitness headphones for a while. The Backbeat Fit 500s may not have advanced features like noise cancelling, but they practically beg for you to take them out on a run, or get nice and sweaty in them. They have a specialized coating, known as P2i Nano Coating, which repels water. I found it almost impossible to get any sort of water to disrupt my pair, even after a quick run under the tap, which I'm sure you'll agree is far heavier than any rainstorm. I loved how lightweight they were, and how easy the controls were to use. They are simple raised physical buttons on one cup, and unlike other headphones like those made by Sony, there's no need for touch controls. During runs, I found skipping and pausing tracks was super simple. They also never got uncomfortably sticky, no matter how much of a sweat I had going. That's a big problem with other fitness-focused headphones, like those from Beats, there were a couple of things I didn't like, and which are worth bearing in mind if you buy. The first is that the Backbeat Fit 500s don't have any noise cancelling, which is okay given the price, but the isolation is quite poor. That was frustrating in noisy environments. In the gym, for example, I sometimes found that if the staff had music turned to high, it got in the way of my own tunes. I also wasn't wild about the somewhat cheap materials. They may have been coated with nanofibers, or whatever, but they didn't feel premium at all. That said, having tested several different headphones in the gym and on runs, I can say that the Backbeat Fit 500s are easily my favorites. Number 3. The Bose Noise Cancelling Headphones 700. When you talk about the best headphones available, it really is a conversation about Bose and Sony. They are the two biggest dogs in this fight, and they produce some of the best headphones on earth. I've already explained why I think the Sony WH-1000XM4S are the best headphones overall, but the Bose Noise Cancelling Headphones 700, the company's newest model, have them beaten in at least one crucial area, and you've probably already guessed what it is. The new Bose Noise Cancelling Headphones 700 have the best noise cancelling technology on earth. Better than the already terrific WH-1000XM4S from Sony. You can select just how much noise cancellation you want to apply, and the isolation is fantastic. Bose even promise future augmented reality updates. While they've been vague on the specifics, I imagine this will be some sort of intelligent adjustment, the problem is, there are some significant downsides to the Bose headphones. They have significantly less battery life than many other headphones, even the $100 Sennheisers I mentioned above. They are easily among the most expensive noise-canceling headphones available, and to be honest, I think they look about as exciting as a pair of free headphones you get on airplanes. That weird extended headband post is definitely an acquired taste. If you do want to stick with Bose, and you want to get some of their cancellation tech without the massive price tag, then I recommend an older model from the company, the Quiet Comfort 35 II, which are $50 less expensive. Bose have sold thousands upon thousands of them over the years, and with very good reason. Even though I love my Sony headphones, the Quiet Comfort 35 IIs are still my headphones of choice for long journeys. Number 2. 
The Sennheiser HD 4.40. When you're looking at budget headphones, it's tempting to go for models that claim to offer all the bells and whistles of more expensive ones. But I think you'll be a lot happier if you go for a pair that does a few things well, rather than a lot of things mediocrely, is that a word? Oh well. It is now. That's why I think the Sennheiser HD 4.40s are about the best pair of affordable headphones you can buy. These wireless, over-ear headphones combine good sound quality with excellent comfort and fit, and a ridiculous battery life. At 28 hours, they are in the top 5 headphones here. Other sub-$100 models like the Anchor Soundcore Life Q20, below, may last longer, but they don't sound nearly as good. And really, it's the sound that seals the deal for us here, even more so than the battery life. Sennheiser have a reputation for excellent audio quality, and this clearly carries through to their budget offerings. The sound quality is clean, balanced, and powerful. It's frankly insane that a pair of headphones this good costs under $100. That makes them more than affordable for most people. That being said, there is one major shortcoming with the Sennheiser HD 4.40s. They don't offer any form of active noise cancelling, while they block out the outside world pretty well, you won't find the same cancellation technology as you would on more expensive headphones like the Sony WH-1000XM4S or the Bose Noise Cancelling Headphones 700. And you know what? That's fine. You get good isolation with these anyway, as in, the seal against your head is good enough to block out the outside world, and again, I'd much rather recommend you a pair of headphones that don't cut corners trying to pull off advanced features. It's worth noting that Sennheiser offer a newer model that does include noise cancelling, called the HD 4.50. However, they cost double the price, and the cancellation isn't good enough to justify the increase. It's a much better idea to stick with the brilliant HD 4.40. Save yourself some money, these headphones are the ones to go for. Number 1. The Sony WH-1000XM4. They are quite pricey.At any given time, I'll have a dozen headphones in my office, ranging from futuristic true wireless earbuds to big, heavy audiophile cans. The Sony WH-1000XM4S are the ones I find myself reaching for the most. It's practically automatic, as soon I walk out the door, these are the headphones I take with me. I keep coming back to them time and time again, and the reason for that is simple, there is almost nothing they don't do well. It's not just the fact that they sound terrific, with audio that is crisp, punchy, and detailed. It's not just the excellent noise cancelling, which is fully customizable, so you can let in exactly as much ambient sound as you like. It's the fact that the WH-1000XM4S are so damn intuitive. They have so many useful features, things I hadn't even considered before I got my pair. The headphones will automatically pause your music if you hang them around your neck, and if you want to listen to the outside world without taking them off, all you have to do is say something, which puts them into ambient mode. They offer 30 hours of battery life, which is up there with the very best, and you get 5 hours of juice from a mere 10 minutes of charge. The app Sony uses to control the headphones, which you don't need to have open to use the headphones, is simple and effective. In my opinion, there are no other headphones that do as much as the WH-1000XM4S, with as little fuss. They are brilliant. I will say that the Bose Noise Cancelling Headphones 700, which cost $50 more, offer slightly better noise cancelling. Bose really are the best in the world at doing that, and no matter how hard Sony tries, they aren't going to be able to beat them. But the thing is, the difference isn't that dramatic. Unless you demand the absolute best from your noise cancelling, you'll be very happy with that offered by the WH-1000XM4S. There's also the fact that they sound much, much better than the Bose headphones, which have thin bass and sometimes unclear detail. Plus, they are significantly less pricey, by about $50, making the Sony headphones a winner. There's no denying that they are still expensive. $350 is a lot, but fortunately, there are several excellent alternatives that are far more affordable. If the price isn't for you, I'd suggest checking out the Sennheiser HD 4.40, discussed below. They cost under $100, and although they don't have any noise cancelling, they match up to the Sony headphones well in terms of battery life and sound quality.